a voracious carnivore hides under the ground waiting for its next victim. An ant walks briskly to its colony when the ground beneath its feet crumbles. A second later, the ant is being hoisted in the air by a pair of giant mandibles. It's not a horror movie. It's the death trap of the terrible ant lion. Hi, I'm Danielle Dufault, and you're watching Animal Logic. Ant lions are one of the most terrifying predators in the animal world. Their traps are so elaborate, and their killing technique so brutal, that after watching this, you'll be thanking the universe that you are not an ant. And if you are, watch out, because there are giant predators hidden underground. Ant lion is the common name for the 2,000 species in the Myrmelayontidae family. Their name is ancient Greek for, um, ant lion. Yup, in fact, they're called a variation of that in most European languages. They're found in most warm and temperate regions of the world, but are more abundant in hotter, drier areas. The reason for their name is obvious once you see their larvae. They're hairy, they have gigantic killing utensils, and they have a voracious appetite for ants. This makes ants the zebras to the ant lion's lion. If lions had giant pincers on their face, of course. The larvae of some species dig conical ant traps. They start from the middle and dig outwards, kicking out rocks and large pieces of debris. They aim to end up with just dry sand or soil stacked at the sharpest angle possible. Then, they dig themselves into the middle of the cone, with only part of their jaws sticking out. And they wait. An ant walking by might accidentally step on the inside of the cone. The walls of the cone are built to crumble, and once an ant steps on them, they collapse, sending the ant on a sand slide to the venomous mandibles of the ant lion. They're basically a real-world sarlacc pit. Except instead of a clumsy bounty hunter, it's a clumsy ant. The pits are built at the critical angle of repose. It's the steepest possible angle at which the sand will sit undisturbed. But if touched, it falls apart and creates an avalanche. In this case, the avalanche works as a funnel into the death pit. If the ant looks like it might escape the avalanche, the ant lion will use their bodies to throw sand at the ant and knock it back down into its jaws. These are not delicate needles as in some insects and spiders. Instead, they're massive pincers that clench the ant and shake it until it's stunned. Then, they maneuver the ant into position to sting it with venom that immediately starts digesting the ant from the inside. Then, the ant is dragged into the pits of hell and eaten alive. This hunting strategy is so brutal that it's inspired several science fiction monsters, like the aforementioned Sarlaccs from Star Wars and the Graboids from Tremors. But it isn't all brute force. Ant lions have to look for the perfect place to set their traps. While doing this, they'll walk erratically, leaving trail marks on the sand. These are common in drier areas and have earned them the nickname Doodlebugs. Hey, this one looks like a Keith Haring drawing. The ant lions have a couple of tools to make sand navigation a little easier. The main one is their mane. These ant simbas are covered in super sensitive hairs that pick up vibrations on the ground and the air. Even when they're buried with their heads in the ground and only their jaws sticking out, they can sense potential prey getting nearer. As the larvae gets older, their hairs get longer and their conical death traps get deeper and more spread apart. The ant lines will grow to just over a centimeter over their three years in their larval stage. So unless you're in a grounded situation, then you can stop sweating. During this time, they eat a lot of ants, beetles, and other small insects liquefying their insides and slurping them up through tiny slits that are technically their mouths. But they can't bite or chew. Weirdly enough, they don't poop. They don't even have an anus. All that waste gets stored until they're out of the larval stage. Poor little guys, 
being constipated for three years. They're like the Elvises of the insect world. Of course, over time, the pits become full of ants sucked dry. This ends up attracting more ants to the pits, but makes them less likely to fall in. The ants become suspicious of the dead piles and start moving slower around the death trap. When that happens, the ant lion has to move on, draw another doodle, and make a new death trap. Or if they're big enough, it's time to pupate. Some species dig themselves deep into the ground and make cocoons of sand and silk. Others make their cocoon on tree bark or on the side of a wall, using available materials to help blend in with the environment. Or in some cases, to mimic bird poo. When they come out, they look like beautiful dragonflies with large, flat wings and thin, elongated bodies. Some species get up to 15 centimeters in length. This is the largest growth of any animal that undergoes full metamorphosis. It must be all that pent-up energy. The adult form is much chiller and feeds on nectar and pollen and does not eat ants alive. They live only about a month, in which their only job is to mate and lay eggs. It's a peaceful combination to a life spent living in the dirt, trapping and killing ants in the most horrific way imaginable. A happy ending for a terrifying species. should we talk about next? Please let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for new episodes every week. Thanks for watching. See ya! Hi! We've got big news! Animalogic has just launched a brand new channel membership program. It's the easiest way to support the channel and helps us keep bringing you original wildlife content. If you become an Animalogic superfan, you'll get priority replies to your comments, photos and status updates when we're in the field, discounted merch from our store, as well as Animalogic exclusive emojis and loyalty badges. There's also a few exciting new perks in the works, so if you like the channel and want to support us and become a part of Animalogic, please click on the link below and become a member. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Weirdly, they don't poop. They don't even have an anus. So all that junk <laughs> inside their trunk stays there until they're out of the...